On this episode of Technique Tuesdays, where I concentrate more on the technique and philosophy of feeding yourself rather than individual recipes, we are going to look at mise en place. Mise en place is a concept that means everything in its place or getting everything ready beforehand or your prep work. This can help with organization, this can help with dishes, this can help with the overall joy of cooking. I promise you that you're gonna take it a lot easier once you get everything in its place. And this can even help with the speed of cooking and the efficiency, definitely the efficiency of getting things onto the table. If you're painting a room and you want it done right, what do you spend most of your time on is putting up the painter's tape, getting all of your lines straight. Then when it's time to do the active part of the job, the part that we all see, everything just falls in its place. So right now I'm getting my mise en place for the next food video for the next episode of Self-Serving Skillet. And that video will be shakshuka. Before I start cooking, I take a few minutes to visualize how this is going to go. And it doesn't happen every time, but when I do take the time to do this, it makes everything go a lot more smoothly. I bought this single bratwurst that's actually that's made with with Italian seasoning. So it was sold to me as an Italian sausage bratwurst. This might be the only thing here that I'm not going to completely prep because I need to give it a little heat on both sides first, get that skin nice and firm. After that I know I'm going to need onions. This is that diced white onion from the last Technique Tuesday where I show you all about onions. And then this is the single serving of tomato sauce I made for those zucchini fries. If you want to know how to make that, I'll put that somewhere. I forget where it goes. And I like this method very much to build my sauce beforehand because if I take this and I put this in a cast iron pan, after about 20 minutes that cast iron will start to make my tomato sauce or really anything that is acidic uh, taste sort of metallic. But if my sauce is already built, I'm going to spend maybe 10 minutes in this pan. Since I already have enough garlic in here, but I want to be able to see the garlic, I want to be able to eat with my eyes as well, I'm going for the garlic slices so that they're pretty in my dish. As I show you in the garlic prep video, the slices are really a very medium to mild garlic intensity. And since I have enough garlic in my tomato sauce already, this is perfect. We'll put that in a little, little ramekin. Now lastly, spices. I really just like to have my spice jars out and I'm really good at estimating sort of how much I need, sprinkling it on. I know these things by feel and you only get good at that by doing it a lot. So if that's something you're interested in trying, you're going to over and under season a lot of food until you get it right, but once you do, you don't need to do this step. If all of my seasonings are going in at one time, I can just measure them out and put them on the plate. It doesn't matter if they mix. However, these are going in at different times. If we're going in at different times, you can use ramekins if you'd like. I like to use shot glasses because I have so many of them on hand. I'm going to go with a quarter teaspoon each of each of these seasonings and when you're using the same spoon for multiple seasonings, I'm going to go in order of flavor intensity but also with the consideration of what's going to stick to my spoon, what's going to cross contaminate the other seasonings. So dried basil first, that will finish my sauce. I want to put that in maybe a minute or so before I put my eggs in. Crushed red pepper. I need this to be a little bit spicy and I'm going in here before I go into my paprika not because this is less intense than the paprika but because the paprika will stick to my spoon. Lastly, eggs. This is a single serving of shakshuka so I only 
I'm going to go for two eggs. You can definitely multiply this recipe by two, three, four, depending on how many people you're feeding. If you only want to use one bowl for two eggs, that's fine. Each egg yolk is going to come with its own egg white, and then the outer white, the more watery white, will just kind of go wherever. So if you're trying to separate them, you can still do them while they're all in one bowl. It's just going to take a little bit more effort. What I like to do is crack them in their own bowls, and this makes one more dish, but I'm fine with that. Now that's pretty rare. This uh, brown spot here, that is, that's a blood spot. But contrary to popular belief, even by uh, some egg manufacturers, it's not, it's not bad, it's not harmful. Sometimes egg manufacturers will, uh, will take a lot of effort to not sell these, but it's perfectly edible. All this means was that there was a ruptured blood vessel in the hen's ovary while the egg was being produced. You find them in like one out of every two, three hundred eggs. So what I'm going to do is take is do my best to grab and pinch that outer membrane and break it up so that the outer white and the inner white sort of behave the same way. And this way the egg white behaves a little bit more predictably and it sets sort of at the same time. And that's my mise en place. Now I'm ready to cook. Then for our next Technique Tuesday, we're gonna continue on that idea. Take all of these dishes, do them in an orderly manner. See if we can come up with some tips and tricks for you to stay organized while you do that. If you wanna know how I made that single serving of marinara sauce, you should watch this video next. And if you wanna know more about eggs, I recommend this right here.